If you're just tuning in, we tune in with my homie David Banner in here. We talking some real talk. We talking the God Box. We talking black culture. We talking about the South. So now, like, listen. So you mentioned a few things that I want to mm -hmm. touch on. Like you mentioned uh, the the South not getting its just due mm -hmm. in many different ways, right? Mm -hmm. So with this album, with the South being what it is right now, right. everybody's definitely trying to copy the South, mm -hmm. whether they want to admit it or not. Mm -hmm. And then everybody critiquing the South at the same time. Right. Then you have this whole old school, new school, or older rap dudes mm -hmm. versus the younger rap dudes going on, be it New York, East Coast, right, West Coast, right, the right. South, or whatever. And then you have the whole, you know, conscious rapper verse mumble rap. Mm -hmm. So yours is kind of in there like every way, like you know what I mean. Well, so like, how, how how does the God Box do well, compared well, to well, the first all of all? That? It's all black music, right? See, for us to dis try to dissect it and chop it up, like, I get, there's a lot of things about black people that I don't like, but it's still part of the culture. I will never separate myself from the culture. You feel what I'm saying? Right. And really what they try to say when they say mumble rap or when they say trap music, that's really their way of saying South music. Mm. Just say what you mean. Right. You, un you understand what I'm saying? And, and the thing is, all of us had our run. The thing that I think artists have to understand, regardless of whether you like the current music that's selling, like that's what's keeping hip hop alive until you have your opportunity. Right. So stop hating and make something better. You understand what I'm right. saying? Like if, if, if I have a problem with doing something, I just create it myself. I'll give you an example. Black people don't have their own flag or the descendants of Africans don't have their own flag. I created a flag. Gave it out. If, if y'all want to get one, you can go to davidbanner.com. We got the whole God box, the whole presentation. But the thing is, is I don't complain about, you know, old or young. I just make really, really dope music. Right. But the thing is, I don't want to sound like my parents. <laughs> Anything that's not doing your time of music is the devil music. Right. No, it's not. It's, it's, it's some music that some youngsters do that I don't like. And then it's some that I really, really like. You feel what I'm saying? Um, Dead People by 21 Savage is probably one of my favorite songs, period. T-shirt, right. I love T-shirt by the Migos. Like, you know, it's it's not like every song. I didn't like every Tribe Called Quest song. You feel what I'm saying? But they're I one of my favorite groups. I all the time. I yeah. argue about that all the time. So, so, so why can't we just enjoy the stuff that we enjoy and stop condemning a whole genre of music? The other thing is this. If you are an older rapper and you're complaining about these children, Anything that younger people do, it's a reflection of what we didn't teach them. Mm -hmm. And in a lot of cases, what happened was the so-called smart rappers, they are so elitist that they walked off and stopped teaching. You have to teach, bro. And that's one thing that I thank God for, man, that I'm in, I'm in, the, I'm in the studio, bro, producing some of the widest range of people, bro. I remember being in the studio you know, talking to Kendrick Lamar about, hey, bro, stop writing in the studio because that's burning up studio time. Write your verses at the crib. Wow. You feel what I'm saying? Because they the studio time is constantly running. We don't have time to do that. I remember being in the studio with Crit and be like, dog, the reason why we stay we stay sick all the time is because we're a little bit crunker than other artists, so we sweat hard. Then we jump on the bus with that recycled air and be damp and end up catching the flu or upper respiratory problem. Wow. I remember talking to ASAP Rocky about spirituality. ASAP Rocky coming to me like, Banner, bro, I want to find a way to rap about the stuff that I'm learning now, but still keep my edge, you know? Mm. So for me to be able to do that, if you diss these young rappers, then you cut off the opportunity because you diss me, I'm not going to talk to you either. Right. <laughs> it's our responsibility to, to teach these kids, bro. You feel what I'm saying? So I, I, I just think, man, oh, and I want to say something, bro. Uh, Sunny Digital, Metro Booming, um, some of the most creative production I've ever heard, bro. Mm -hmm. X with X, bro. If you listen to that, bro, X sounds like uh, Zelda, the video mm -hmm. game Zelda, yeah, yeah. over some trap beats. Like, bro, we have to start giving people credit, bro. And and, and then the other thing I hate if people have criticism, then show them a better way. Right. Teach them, tell them. You know, I honestly think, bro, like. And I've had a lot of artists come up to me and tell me, like, when I when I did the God Box, me and Crit have a song called My uh, My Uzi. It's me, Crit, and UGK. Right. No samples, bro. I actually have a, a symphony orchestra at the end. 
And because it's hip hop and people don't see any value in hip hop, people don't know that I actually have a relationship with John Debney who scored Iron Man 1, 2, and 3 and The Passion of the Christ. Me and him did Gatorade commercials together, so I pulled him in. So that's a real composition. Wow. That's some Grammy award-winning stuff that people need to come and realize, like, bro, this is this is it. For me and Black Thought to have a song before Black Thought did the freestyle, you feel what I'm saying? All of that, for me to be able to go back and get Big Rude, mm. who really, really influenced my life, you know what I'm saying? Right. And come back and make a record with him. And CeeLo Green, what I was trying to do is bring, but to still have Cap G. Right, on there doing right, his thing right. to bring all generations together and tell them, bro, this ain't like, like that slave mentalities that we use, Divide the young and, and the old, mm-hmm. the light. Because I used to tell my homeboys from New York, bro, like, don't none of us own none of this stuff. It shouldn't be no East Coast, West Coast, no, no South, no Midwest. Because really, you went wherever your parents could get jobs. Right. It wasn't like they was like, hey. You have a choice. This is where no, you right. went where your parents, where your parents, or where white folks let you live. So most of us is renting. We ain't owning land, no way. Like Hope said, please don't die over the block that your mama ran. Right, right. right. So, so for me, man, I just want to be and instead of criticizing, I want to be an example of success, bro. The amount of records that I sold and being one hundred, I get, I get nine, yeah, I get about eighty nine percent. Of every record that's sold, eighty nine percent. Wow, most people with deals get thirteen. You got that Master P deal. What was oh, Master P deal? Oh no 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 no. This is a little bit like this is one hundred percent. But I still have to give a percentage to the distribution company. You feel right, what I'm right. saying? So for me, bro, like people wonder, like, why is he so happy? Like, dog, we good. <laughs> <laughs> we good. And then we, you know, we don't we don't forget them Gatorade and Mercedes Benz commercials. No, 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 see, I'm, 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 I'm glad you 